Hey, Lily. It's been ages since we last cut up. How have you been? Hey, Naomi. Long time no see, huh? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Your mom and everyone else is doing well too, by the way. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, I've been chatting with mom lately and she mentioned how much you've been pitching in around the house. Kudos to you. I'm putting in my best effort. It's surprising to think that Paul has already been in France for nearly a month. However, I'm trying my best not to inconvenience Hazel by staying here. Hmm, I see. Anyway, is everything all right? It's pretty rare for you to contact me directly like this. Hey, sorry for reaching out randomly like this. I actually have something I wanted to ask you, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah? What's up? Listen up, because I'm about to drop a bomb on you. Brace yourself for this earth-shattering news. I'm actually pregnant at the moment. Can you believe it? My belly is already growing like crazy. Oh, really? Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. I've got some news for you. I'm going to head back home for a while until the baby arrives, which means I'm going to be staying at my parents' house. I see. So that's why you messaged me? Of course, I have no problem with that at all. Feel free to come back. I'm really looking forward to seeing the baby. Of course you are. Oh, but I'm currently using your room, so I'm afraid you won't have a separate space to stay in. The only option we have is the living room. Would you be okay crashing on the sofa? What? No, no way. I can't sleep without a bed. All right. I'm confident we can figure something out for you. Perhaps we can find a smaller sized bed that would fit nicely in the living room. Let me discuss it with Hazel. And we'll come up with a plan that works for everyone. Hey, no worries at all. You really don't have to go through all that trouble. I don't want you to spend money or go out of your way just to accommodate me. But you don't want to sleep on the sofa, right? Right. So, I'll just use your bed. Huh? Oh, just to clarify, I've already had a little talk with my mom about the situation. We both agreed that it's in everyone's best interest if you vacate my old room and return it to its rightful owner, me. Thanks for understanding. Oh, I see. So where am I supposed to sleep? Are you saying I should sleep on the living room sofa? No, no. You can sleep on a bed. Of course, don't be silly. I don't think my bed will fit in the living room. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. The living room is clearly not a suitable option for someone of your stature. We've come to a brilliant conclusion. You should be banished to the basement. It's the perfect place for someone like you. Enjoy. What? The basement? But it's not even finished. I'll freeze to death down there. Ugh, quit with the theatrics already. You'll survive. You don't need to be such a baby about it. Besides, the basement has its own separate entrance at the back so you can come and go without bothering us in the main house. Let's be real here. We're not exactly close. As my brother's spouse, you're pretty much a stranger to me. Why on earth would I want some random stranger interfering with the birth of my child in my own damn house? Can't even imagine being able to relax with you around. Even supposing that was acceptable... I don't think I can even get my bed down to the basement. It's too heavy. That's fine. I'll just use your bed. You can just buy a cheap one for the basement. Wait, so you want me to buy a new bed so that you can take mine? Ugh, yeah. You said it yourself. We can't possibly move yours out of my room. This is unbelievable. Paul and I spent weeks picking out that bed. The mattress is completely personalized for me so that I can avoid back pain. <laughs> what does that have to do with me? Just 
go move back in with your own family if this is such a problem for you. They don't live anywhere near here. Sorry, but that sounds like a personal problem. You know, when I moved in with you guys, Hazel was incredibly sweet and welcoming. She made me feel like a part of the family right from the start. She even told me to consider this house as my own home and reassured me that there would always be a place for me here, even when Paul is away. No way. That's hilarious. <laughs> Mom really said something like that? She really did. Even now, Hazel keeps saying the same thing. When Paul got deployed to France, I had initially thought about going with him. But Hazel insisted that it's a wife's duty to wait at home, surrounded by family, for his return. That's precisely why I'm still here, staying with your parents. Hazel's been quite adamant about it, and I respect her perspective. Wow. Just wow. This is beyond ridiculous. Look, I hate to break it to you, but I think me and my baby's needs should take priority here. Don't you agree? If you're not keen on the basement and you won't go back to your own place, I guess your only option is sleeping on a bench in the park or whatever. Tough luck, I suppose. Is that some kind of joke? Not at all. It's free, so you'll even be able to save some money. Anyway, I'll be back home tomorrow, so... Tomorrow. So soon. Yeah, so make sure you're out of the way and in the basement by then. Now, hold on. Just give me a second to process this. I can't understand it at all. I don't remember asking for your understanding. I'm going to be staying at the house for a while after the baby comes too. Why would I want some dirty stranger around? Where is this even coming from? I'm not dirty. I really couldn't care less about your supposed relationship with my brother. From where I stand, you're nothing but a leech, mooching off the space in my house. Newsflash, sweetheart. I'm having my baby right here, whether you like it or not. So, you better pack your bags and get the hell out of that room. Pronto. Chop, chop. Fine. I'll just start getting my stuff ready. As soon as possible, okay? That's all I've been saying from the beginning. Why was this so hard for you to get? What's the deal, Lily? So are you just not going to bother helping out around the house today, or what? It's almost noon. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten your duties as a wife? It's your job to take care of things around the house. We've talked about this. You still expect me to clean up the house after the whole thing about Naomi coming home to have the baby? I'm not even allowed to go upstairs. You said you don't even want me anywhere near the kitchen. Well, sure. I told you you need to stay out of the way while Naomi is here. But I don't remember telling you that you could slack off from your chores. What? From morning to evening. Your job is to take care of us. I'll expect you to be upstairs working every day from morning to night from now on. But what about Naomi yesterday? She said she couldn't relax with a random stranger around the house. Even if I were to be cleaning all day, wouldn't someone dirty like me around ruin your restful environment? Now that you mention it, you're right. You should probably start working around 4 a.m. then. 4 a.m.? Are you serious? That way, you can finish up the housework quickly and be out of our sight by noon. Naomi said her morning sickness is getting worse these days, so she usually sleeps until noon anyways. But she seems so worried about having me and my germs around. I don't think she'd be happy about me being upstairs, even if it's just to do the chores. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure to give you a disinfectant shower from head to toe before you come up. That way you won't bring in any germs. Are you serious? So get your butt up here.
Lily, listen up. I need you to drop everything and go get me some chocolate right this instant. I'm craving something sweet, and wouldn't you know it, we're fresh out of chocolate in the fridge. Naomi, what time do you think it is right now? The time doesn't matter. A pregnant woman has to satisfy her cravings. Didn't you start showing diabetes symptoms recently? Are you really sure you should be eating sweets? Shut up. I don't want to hear anything from someone who's never even been pregnant before. Just do as I say. Hey, can we please take a break from this whole evil sister-in-law act you've got going on? It's exhausting. And honestly, it's been getting worse lately. I've noticed a constant stream of rudeness coming from you. The way you're constantly ordering me around as if I'm your personal servant. Not very nice. Let's try to find some common ground here, okay? <laughs> What's wrong with ordering around a freeloader like you? Isn't that why you're here? You have me running around doing errands. I do all the cleaning and laundry. You even throw away my cooking when you don't like it. And now I'm supposed to drop everything and run to the store for you in the middle of the night? I've had enough. I'll be the one to decide when you've had enough. Even mom's been saying we have to be stricter with you. Hazel too? Yeah, that's right. I almost forgot to tell you. After having the baby, I'll be staying around the house for a while. Yeah, you mentioned that actually. Just listen. My husband is busy with work, so of course mom said I can stay as long as I like. It's my home after all. So, it looks like you'll be staying busy for a little while longer. So you mean I'm going to have to keep up this housekeeper lifestyle? I can at least assume that you'll be taking care of the baby on your own, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Of course, taking care of the baby is one of your responsibilities. You can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. Obviously, I'll have to rest my body after giving birth. I'll be too busy sleeping all day. After all, my main job will be to recover. I won't have any time to be working around the house or taking care of the baby. What about me being dirty and covered with germs? But you're totally fine with leaving your newborn baby with me? But aren't you still getting the alcohol spray showers from mom every morning? I think that's been doing the trick. Yeah. Thanks to that, my hair and skin are all dried out. Just think of it as practice for raising your own kids someday. It's something to look forward to. I'm absolutely not looking forward to it. That's it. I'm done with this. Fun and games are over. I'm through helping you. What are you getting at here? You think you can just disobey me all of a sudden like this? I'm at my limit. I've had enough. I get up early every day to take care of you. And then I get woken up in the middle of the night to run errands for you. If this is going to continue any longer, I can't handle it anymore. But that's your job. It's what you signed up for when you married my brother. It's not a matter of what you can or can't handle. Just shut up and do it. You don't have the right to talk back to me like this. You're going to be taking care of me and the baby. And that's that. In your dreams, Naomi, I absolutely did not sign up for any of this by marrying Paul. And I'm through putting up with it. What are you even talking about? I mean, the free ride is over. Clean up your own house from now on and buy your own ice cream. This is completely outrageous. You think just because you married my brother, you can live in our house and freeload without helping out? You have got some nerve. Actually, no. I don't think that. And I'm not going to live in your smelly old basement anymore. So I'm not your convenient servant-in-law anymore. Hold on. You're moving out? That's right. When did this happen? I couldn't take any more of this. So I had a long conversation with Paul on the phone. In the end, we decided it would be best if I just moved out. 
I can't believe this. You're just going to abandon your husband's family? Well, it was Paul's idea. It's the only way for me to escape this situation. Paul said that? He'd actually been worried about me the whole time since he got shipped out. At first, I was trying to put on a brave face, and I assured him everything was fine, even when it wasn't. But after being treated like this for so long, like I said, I can't handle it anymore. It's worse than I could have ever imagined. And you guys think that's a valid reason to just abandon me while I'm pregnant? Um, yes. Have you told mom about this? Not just yet. I was planning to tell her about it tomorrow. So that's the situation. Goodbye. If you really want some ice cream, go get it for yourself. Ugh, what gives you the right to order me around? Didn't the doctor tell you that you needed more exercise anyway? Go ahead and enjoy a nice stroll around at night. Lily, what's this I'm hearing about you moving out? Naomi just woke me up and told me everything. It's exactly what it sounds like. If living here means I have to be you guys' slave, then I just won't live here anymore. So that means I'm done taking care of you. How can you even call yourself a wife with bad behavior like that? You have a responsibility to this family. How can you sleep at night? I think I'll manage to live with myself somehow. In fact, I'm sure I'll be sleeping much better in my new place than in that basement. Is that so? Fine then. We don't need a stubborn person like you around anyway. Enjoy your life alone from now on. No more freeloading off my son and our family anymore either. Running out on my son and his family? What an idiot. What? I'm not running out on Paul. Paul and I are still planning to spend our lives together. What does that mean? I'll be moving to France and living with him. It'll be a nice, peaceful place with just the two of us. I'll actually be leaving town tomorrow. Now, wait a second. You can't just up and move in with him. His housing is provided to him by the government. You need to get permission. We have permission. Don't worry. Everything is above board. A lot of people bring their families with them when they get shipped overseas. It's not like the military demands all families be separated or anything. Really? Of course. I'm sure the other military families will be much better company than you guys. In fact, I'm sure you're probably stricter and less friendly than any drill sergeant could ever be. <laughs> but I've got to hand you one thing. I don't know if I would have been able to adjust to living abroad originally. But it's been so terrible living here that it's going to be a walk in the park. So thanks. None of this makes any sense. My son really went along with his plans of yours? Of course, it was his idea, actually. To be honest, I think he's pretty eager to get me away from you and Naomi. He's actually looking forward to breaking things off with you guys as well. What is that supposed to mean? It means he doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. Him, too? My own son? All the stories of you two ordering me around and forcing me to take care of everything around the house? I told him everything. I had to. It just couldn't be helped. It just couldn't be helped. I can't believe that you bothered Paul with trivial stuff like this when he's hard at work overseas. Anyway, this means that we'll be able to live together again sooner than we expected. And I won't have any more family obligations towards you. Just think of us as strangers, like Naomi always said. And leave us alone. With pleasure. Like I'd want anything to do with you after doing something like this. Do whatever you want. Run off to France. I don't care anymore. I've got my daughter and the new baby coming anyway. I won't miss you at all. Well, that's perfect. It looks like everything worked out. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Lily, help me. I'm having contractions. I think I'm going into labor. And? 
where are all my documents? My health records and everything? And my health insurance information? And what else was I supposed to bring to the hospital? Hold on a second. Calm down and take a deep breath. I took care of everything you'd need to bring with you. I put everything together on the shelf near the front door a while ago. It's right by the entrance. The front door? How am I supposed to find anything there? Uh, with your eyes? Whatever. Just get over here. The baby's coming any minute now. Hurry up and come help me. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I've already moved. Isn't Hazel around to help you? She's already been through this before. Why don't you ask someone more experienced like her? She's panicking too. She's no help at all. She has no idea what to do. Wow. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. And of course, Dad is useless too. That's why I need you. What should I do? Well, first of all, get yourself to the hospital as soon as possible. Just have Hazel bring her things to the hospital later. Okay, got it. But wait, which hospital was it? Where am I supposed to go? Which hospital? The same one you've been going to all this time. You have to at least know that, right? I don't remember. You always drove me there, so I don't know where it is. I was supposed to just get in a taxi, but you're not here to give directions. You were going to depend on me even for something tiny like that? Just tell me where to go. What's the name of the hospital I've been going to? You have to at least have the phone number of the hospital written down somewhere, right? Ask your mom. I'm sure she knows that much. She doesn't know either. We had you take care of everything, so without you, we don't know anything. Well, it's not like I remember either. Don't snap at me just because you've been so careless. What? It's unbelievable. You're going to be a mother soon and you can't even remember something as simple as the name of the hospital. This whole thing is a joke. And someone like you really thought you could raise a child? I don't need a lecture. Please, just help me. Come take me to the hospital. Take care of it yourselves. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Lily. Come on, Lily! I'm having a baby! You can't just leave me like this! Lily, please, we need you. Is there any way we can get you to come back to the house with us? What's this all of a sudden? Everyone in the house is at their limit. Please come help us. Even just a little bit is fine. You don't need to move back permanently. Just anything so I can get some rest. What's going on? You sound stressed. It's Naomi's baby. We were able to get her to the hospital and everything went smoothly after that. But now he's crying all night. Well, yes. He is a baby after all. Naomi is still recovering. So she just lies around all day. We grandparents have been stuck with the responsibility of caring for this child. Wow, that's crazy. We can't take it anymore. We've already asked Naomi's husband to come help out, but apparently he's too busy with work. So you're the only one we can count on. That's pretty sad considering I don't even live in the country anymore. Anyway, that's a hard pass for me. Good luck. I'll pay for your plane ticket. Just come help for one month or even just three weeks. Just to take care of the baby and give me a break. That's all I ask. We're going to pass out from exhaustion any day now. Well, that is tough, isn't it? We'll even pay for a babysitter's fee. How about that? Twenty an hour. Eventually Naomi will recover and her husband will be around more often. So we just need some help until then. But didn't Naomi get divorced recently? You haven't heard about that? What? 
You said you just need my help until then. But when exactly is then supposed to be? Naomi doesn't even have a husband to help out anymore. Divorced? When? How could Naomi be divorced? Why is this the first I'm hearing of it? That's right. Just yesterday, Paul got a message from her husband, or I guess I should say ex-husband. Anyway, he told us about the divorce. I can't believe it. It turns out Naomi's kid? Well, apparently it wasn't his. I don't know all the details, but that's the reason for the divorce according to him. No way. Of course he was shocked at the results of the paternity test. He seemed really sad about the divorce too. Hold on, let me get this straight. The kid isn't his? What does that mean? Shouldn't you be asking Naomi that? Like I said, we don't know the details. This is crazy. None of this makes any sense. Divorce? So that means we'll be stuck with Naomi in our house from now on? We're gonna have to keep taking care of this baby? For how much longer? Well, I certainly can't answer that for you. Anyway, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Following that, Hazel approached Naomi and requested the whole truth about the situation. Naomi confessed that the child was a result of an affair. She pleaded with Hazel, arguing that it wouldn't be fair to punish the baby for her own mistakes. With no strong counter-argument, Naomi's parents felt compelled to continue supporting her. In fact, Hazel even had to lend Naomi money to cover the legal expenses for her divorce. Thus, the arrangement was for Naomi and the baby to remain in the house with the grandparents. However, just one day to this plan, Naomi claimed to be utterly exhausted and abruptly left, leaving the entire responsibility to the grandparents for the following three days. During this time, Naomi spent all her time hanging out with friends. As a result, Hazel and her husband found themselves completely drained from caring for their grandchild. 